Are you tired of buying the cool new ride-on toy that gets a month of use and then it just sits collecting dust? But this kit is different. We can build a real quad slash ATV, and if I get bored, we can take it apart and make something new. So we had some pickups on this one, so stick around and you can see where the pitfalls are and how the build goes. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Evan. And I'm Ryan. Welcome to the Bonding Blueprint. So, before we get started, if you're new here or haven't seen our other Infento videos, Infento is a modular building system where you use real aluminum parts, wheels, axles, and even motors to build ride-on vehicles your kids can actually drive. We picked it because I was always outgrowing ride-on toys fast, but with Infento you can just rebuild it into something new. Exactly. Instead of buying new plastic ride-ons every year, this kit can actually grow with your kids. The parts are solid, the builds feel like a real project, and not just some cheap toy. We've built the Hero Motorcycle already. If you missed that video, you can check it out on our channel. My dad will link it down below. The Infento Electric System has three speed modes controlled by a key. There's a reverse button and a thumb throttle. This is the Hero Motorcycle that we had currently built, and we're going to quickly disassemble this so we have enough parts to make the quad, because you can't make the Hero bike and the quad all in one kit. Um, and unfortunately, uh, through some use, um, when we wired up the Hero kit, um, I'll lift it up a little bit. When we wired up the Hero kit, in order to use the Hero bike or any of the Infento kit bikes, um, when you first turn on the battery, in order to engage the drive, you have to pull the brake lever to engage the engine. And unfortunately, through some use, we had, uh, when we wired up the Hero bike, we made this kind of pigtail that attaches to the throttle and the brakes made it a little bit on the tight side. So over time, uh, turning the wheels pulled on the cable and ripped um, the wire out of the brake cable. So we can't engage the engine right now. So after we uh, disassemble the Hero, we'll come back, we'll show how to repair this. Um, I'm not actually sure how to do it yet, but we'll open it up, we'll figure it out, um, and then uh, fix that wire, and then we'll use all these parts to build the quad, and we will um, see where we end up with the build. So first we're gonna disassemble um, wires. the the hero bike and go from there. Um, if you watched some of our last videos, um, typically the kit comes with a bunch of Allen wrenches to disassemble and assemble everything, which the Allen wrenches are great, good quality, but it takes a very long time to screw and unscrew all the bolts because everything on here is attached by nuts and bolts. Um, and so, um, since then, um, as I talked about in the other videos, um, but we got some hex driver bits for our drill. And so we're gonna use that to take everything apart and put it back together, hopefully much faster. Um, and we'll see how that works in practice. And then we'll talk about that a little bit later in the review part of the video. So other than that, we're gonna get to it. Um, and we'll pause the video from time to time and talk about the stuff that we're getting ready to do. Scared the cloud of me when you hit my Brah. So we disassembled the Hero Bike in roughly 30 minutes. So it took about 30 minutes to tear that thing down with the drill. Drill's a huge help. We both love it. Both endorse it. Buy it. Do it. Don't build Infento without. We'll and, put a um, link in the comments. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll put some more links. These, the, All this stuff was in the original videos, but I'll put some more um, at the bottom of this video. Now we're going to go ahead and quickly sort through all the nuts and bolts to get them back into our organizer tray so it's easier to source the bolts when we're looking for them while we're building. So Evan's gonna divide these up and we'll work together on this and then we will be back. So we're gonna start building and uh, see where we end up. You get the pieces. Four and eight 25s. What are they, 160s? 
Okay, so the rest of this build is very, very similar to the Hero Motorcycle build. A lot of the same steps, a lot of the same techniques, a lot of the same tips that I showed off last time in that video. In this video, I'm going to um, bring back some of the tips that we talked about in the first video, um, just some of the big important ones, but definitely if you want to see more of an in-depth build talking about each step, um, hop back over to the Hero build um, after you're done watching this one and uh, give that a watch as well. If you're building this with your kid, then let them try to figure out each step before you jump in. It makes the build process more fun and gives them real problem solving practice. So first tip, get organized. Use the screw sizing tool, put them into a bunch of organized drawers, label them. This kit would take forever to build if we didn't have one of those. And I'll link the one that we prefer in our Lego sets um, and it would be perfect for this build. So just like I mentioned in our Lego build videos, build time is talk time. Use these hours to catch up, tell stories, hear about their day. The conversations can be just as rewarding as the finished project. And make sure the screws go in straight. Take your time getting screws started straight. If they go in at an angle, you risk stripping the threads or damaging the parts. Okay, all right, slide over a little bit. All right, so um, when we, uh, at the beginning of the video, we had talked about, um, we separated um, on the brake itself, there's a little actuator in here. So when you pull the brake, it triggers the, um, whatever this little actuator is to send a signal along this wire to the battery pack to say that it's okay to let it move forward. And of course, as you can see, these wires popped, pulled out of here. And so now what we're trying to do is take this apart to see if it's even possible to rewire this little thing. The long story short was we realized it can't be repaired. We were at a point where um, the wire was so far right up against, there's a little electronic component in here that I showed on camera. Um, the wire was like right up against it. So there was no way for us to splice the wire together and repair it. And I couldn't figure out how to um, take apart the electronic box inside there to try to get in and maybe solder it directly onto the board or whatever it was, a switch. So we had to order a new uh, brake cable and that's why we took a break for a week. Um, but we're back, we got the replacement brake cable in the mail and, um, and we also got two other things that we're not talking about, um, but they will be, uh, we'll show them off um, in the next video. We gotta save those for the next video because this one's getting about um, to time and we only have enough time uh, this week to get the rest of the build done. So we're gonna focus on the rest of the build now that we got the replacement uh, brake cable and we're gonna go ahead and continue with the build um, and we'll uh, talk along the way with the time lapse. Wait, so tonight are we gonna ride this? <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna try to finish building it and then <laughs> and then we're gonna take it out and uh, give it, well, we gotta test ride it I after you build you. it. <clears throat> we gotta test ride it after <laughs> we build it. So we'll see how it runs. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hopefully finish this up tonight and we'll take it out for a test drive. All right, so just a couple things as we wrap up the build. One, you're gonna need two sets of hands um, for sure. The builds get pretty big, they get a little unruly. You're often holding one part while the other person's screwing it in. Um, so again, great for you know building with your kids. And then two, um, your kids are gonna struggle to get through this entire build. At nine years old, Evan often wanted me to take over and finish it up. All right, the build is done. It's really heavy and uh, my small little turntable won't uh, move this. So here's my budget turntable for you. All right, so we had some issues that are worth sharing. So during the hero motorcycle usage, we broke the brake cable by accident. It's pretty short and we installed it a bit tight and eventually the wire pulled free from the brake handle. Without it, the bike won't go at all. So we had to order a new one from Infento. So shipping came from the Netherlands um, and it was being shipped to the US, took about five days, which 
My felt was fairly quick, um, but the shipping was incredibly pricey. Um, if I had just added a few more items, it would have qualified for free shipping. Since we had to order anyway to get the replacement brake handle, I also picked up the headlight and the brake light kit along with the LED light bar kit. Um, and it's gonna be dark here soon, um, a winter in New England. So we figured we'd um, get some lighting to help with visibility for when Evan wants to ride late at night. In our next Infento video, we'll be installing and reviewing those. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. We've also been talking about swapping out the motor for something faster. I was already getting bored with the 10 miles per hour limit. We got the quad all built, and it looks great, way cooler than I thought it was going to. The kit feels durable, quality's wonderful, but when we took it for a quick test ride, the hub motor isn't working properly now. The Hero motorcycle was running fine up until the brake cable issue. It makes a strange noise and just won't move when there's any weight on it. Like it would make like that type of noise. Yeah, makes a big bumpy noise. Yeah. So this was pretty much my first experience with Infento support. It took about two days to get a response saying they're looking into it. And unfortunately it's been about five days as of this recording with no response so far, which is a little discouraging. Um, we'll follow up in our next Infento video. And when we cover the light and brake kit installs, we'll also update you on what happened with the motor um, and roughly how long it took to get it resolved and all of that good stuff. Poor motor. Poor motor. He was a good boy. He was a good motor. Mm. Just excessive again. You always take, take it too, too far. Too far, too far. I do. It's it crazy. It so it's unlikely we lost a nut or two along the way, but it seems like the ultimate kit only includes the exact amount of nuts and bolts that you need to build the largest model. And there aren't any extras, which is very annoying. Somewhere along the build, we must have used lock nuts instead of regular nuts, and we had to run to the hardware store to buy more because we were way too short. Yep. So for the price of the kit, I would have expected some extra hardware. So that's a little bit disappointing. Disassembly of the Hero was quick, I think all of 30 minutes, but this build definitely took a lot longer than the motorcycle. I think it was like tw like 29 minutes, like you were one minute off, like so close, but like one minute off. Seriously? Yeah. You're killing me smalls. I know. Building together is part of the fun, but you might need to split it up into a couple of days for the quad. Overall, technical issues aside, families that like to build together and want one system that grows from little kid rides to bigger kid stuff will really enjoy this kit. If you have an Infento kit, let us know in the comments what your favorite build so far is. And if this video was helpful, it would help a lot if you would like the video and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video. Subscribe, please. See you next time. Wait for the creek, oh, walking with a he. Oh, oh, eat, oh, oh, you. Bye.